Hello. I finally assembled the portable PMC64 emulator on a wooden board by some screws of the stands which holds the components of this electronic assembly. Some of you may know that I made a design check with some cardboard design as you see on the screen by measuring the components in a rough way and made a placement for uh, to end up in a portable object like this actually looks like a little bit of changes it has at the end but my first attempt on creating this cardboard was this I placed the components here inside and with uh, using some paper between the objects to prevent any um, electronic shortcuts so after making this and after a while I made this assembly by using SOLIDWORKS once again by remodeling and remeasuring every component and then I made some stands for these objects so you can see that the blue bodies are the components and as you see I have several layers while assembling the final object this cardboard uh, helped me so much on creating this layout so after that I designed this stance to be fixed on a planner surface so my next step will be designing an outer shell which is connected by the front direction at the end so my design will be completed after this level so you can see that for a design check I placed everything I checked the cables and uh, placed the roots for these cables between the stands by fixing them uh, actually by I made the fixing by changing the um, length of the cables so this way the cables got a strict way on the connections so they won't be ended up with loose so this way this object got a very rigid look at the end so you can see that this fixation is very rigid so I can move on by creating the shield for the outer case for this object so let me power it up and show you how it works you can see that I have menu navigation buttons this these two are the auto fire buttons one is programs the auto fire button you desire and the other one is uh, clears the assignment the middle one is the for the emulator menu I use BMC 64 emulator as you see the 3.6 version so these two are one is for warp enable and um, the other one is the virtual keyboard so you can see that the warp button works for speeding up the emulation if you don't want the waiting of the loading you can see that we have a speaker at the bottom of bottom side of this stand as you see 
so we can play by the button keys and also we can use the analog input by here the one is the for the buttons are the fire the other one is the space button and you can speed up like this And finally, we have some loose connectors and switches. The one disables the sound here, the other one disables the bottom keys. So if you play by these parts, uh, it's better to disable these keys to prevent any wrongly pressed keys while holding the handheld. The other one disables the speaker so you can use the analog audio and video port here also there's an H there's an HDMI option uh, I will disable this port it won't be usable because I power up the Raspberry Pi inside by the uh, test solders there so my next and remaining port is the power connector here to recharge the battery inside as you see it's the 18650 battery inside possibly it will power this object around 5 or 6 hours of play I didn't measure it yet but uh, for my experience considering my experience it's around like this so see you on uh, after designing the outer shell and release the object from this wood board by making it with the back cap 3D uh, I will connect the front shield with the back shield so our case will be complete like this thanks for watching